Sport edition Silverado. Oh my. Well, would you look at that, man? I'm loving this one already. This is exactly what I'm going for, man. I don't need all that crazy stuff. But I do like this, and it's very local, and that's why I figured I'd take a look at this one, too. Pretty sure this one is, yeah, this isn't a D Max, but the interior is what I'm looking for. Alright, it's a little windy up here, but it's not too bad. So there's the front. So I'm assuming this is an 18. Oh yeah, look at that. Vinyl floors, move up the seats, I'd probably throw some seat covers on it. It's got a nice screen on it, it's actually pretty big. And yeah, very simple, bottom 4x4 shifter. Oh man, I know you can plug your phone in on these work trucks, so that's not an issue. A lot of room in the back, although this is the smaller cab, it still looks like there's pretty, well, pretty good amount of room. So 42,000, nothing in the bed, just a work truck, gasoline of course. No gas cap anymore, so yeah man. Definitely a nice truck. Look at that, just simple tires and wheels that switch out. No rust on the truck. Of course, we're gonna have to change out some of this, if you know what I mean. I love the badge on this. So that's basically the interior I'm going for. Black door handle is my favorite, or a paint match later on, not sure. So there you go. It's perfect. Loving this, dude. I'm loving this truck. Love the other ones I looked at, but nothing ever beats just the simple work truck and if I find one here with the diesel that'll make it all the better. It's crazy man. Look at that center console right there. My favorite part is to be able to flip that up. It's always what I'm wanting to do. And look how many trucks there are here. Here we go. Look at that difference in grill. Just the two differences between a gas and a diesel. Of course, one's a Z71 as well. Look at that. Oh, it's in Duramax. There's the interior there. See, I don't have the flip up seat. Just the buck up seats, which, uh, I mean, most of you guys would probably prefer the bucket, but I kind of like the bench seat more. Bed liner. Starting to corrode. Rancho shocks. You now, gotta love that. <laughs> Standard shocks over here, right? Yeah, man, definitely a lot of trucks out here. Two different generations. And many more to come. Oh, yeah, it's very nice. Very nice. So what's up guys i'm gonna turn this down a little bit sally radio in this truck gotta love it so this is not the work truck but it's very similar interior to two that i just found over there and there's actually something very big that i have to show you on one of those that is very disappointing for people that are going to keep their truck stuck and it's and it's in this interior right now check it out my favorite part moving up this seat being able to sit right here in the middle having a lot more room even though the seat is very well not comfortable at all but i do like having that seat and check it out there's actually no the space that they have here as you can see the dash is i don't even think uh the windshield is as big i think my truck down there has a bigger windshield because as you can see everything's kind of a lot smaller there's a lot less room i noticed my camera the, the the actual microphone would touch the bottom of this rear view mirror so i think the windshields are smaller but I, it adds for more aerodynamics of course for better fuel fuel economy and performance I do like the whole look of that the whole dash right there looks really good entertainment system at least it looks really nice Look at the stitching on the sides of the seats and the nice black cloth seats, my favorite. Got a compartment here just like my truck. Never really use it though, but this is my favorite part. Check that out. They really redesigned this and it looks good. You can plug in your phone, aux cord and stuff here. And then you can run the cord out to right here so you hold your phone there. Also, be able to put drinks here. So that's amazing. 
it's awesome so you could put phone, your phone here and it won't take a spot of the cup holder and you got three here Fords I know the Super Duties only have two I took note of the back but the back has a lot of room too this is only a 1500 but the thing is though is that the interiors are pretty much the same this is pretty pretty basic in here and I love it a lot. I don't know if you can tell but I moved the seat up that one's sitting way down low I guess they come stock that way but then you can't really see as much like kind of like sitting up here but yeah those trucks over there are pretty much the same thing I found two work truck and they're 2018's L5 PD Max base small work trucks my favorite I figure I'd show you guys around this one because this one's actually opened and this is a 1500 Silverado blue a little bit darker blue it's a very nice I think it's called deep ocean blue or something is the color but everything in this truck man it's just really nice I do like what Chevy has done check this out on the front I mean the gauging looks really nice you got a little screen there everything over here you get the four-wheel drive shifter you can do stuff with the lights and everything but this is a really nice truck man I'm telling you now here let's test out the sound system I don't know if you guys will be able to hear I'm gonna turn it up and then move you guys back but it has a lot of bass and nothing rattles in here I'm riding with no brain I'm out of his So not only does it have a lot of bass, but the quality of the sound is really nice, man. I really enjoy what they've done to these trucks. The front, the interior, the back, everything. And they still offer a CD player in a 2018. CD player in a 2018, but no more, I guess, ashtray. I know my truck has an ashtray 2013. Oh man, everything down to even the steering wheel. Look at the stitching on that, the new material that they use. It just, oh, feels so good holding on to that. And just look at this, man. The emblem, the material, that they, the rough feel to that. It says, oh man, I just, I love everything they did in this truck, man. It's really nice. But I'm telling you, my favorite thing is definitely having this here. Flip up, flip down, all this room right here to put whatever. I used to put hats down there. Got this nice sunglasses holder up there pretty cool man all right i've had enough in here man nice and heavy door very firm door panel not loose at all perfect man truck that i was just sitting in very nice but i'd rather prefer that blue one if i got one yeah. so here's the worst part about the new d maxes look at that it's a growth a growth underneath the truck man awful holy cow I'm walking over here, I'm like, what is that thing? It doesn't even look placed right. It's not even straight down either. It comes down to the slant because it looks like it has an issue with it. And this is where the DEF, diesel exhaust fluid, goes into for the emissions equipment. Look how big that, it sits lower than the frame. If you can see that, that sits lower than that. And that's just, oh gosh, man. I'd have to get rid of that fast. I looked at the other trucks, I said, well, how could I not notice that? It's because they all have footsteps, running boards on them, so that's why. Look at that, they don't even give you caps on that. Just have that. But yeah, the interior of these trucks, man. I hope you can see that, but it is gray, but it has the vinyl flooring. Just a flip up middle console there. You gotta love it. D Max. L5P hood scoop, perfect. And here's how much they want. Total vehicle price 53610 for a 2018 Silverado four wheel drive work truck crew cab. This one isn't open, so I didn't go in, but they got a lot of room back here. It's got a nice bed liner back here. So it is the shorter bed. Comes with stock 31 inch tires. And there's two of them here, both the same configuration. Now here's mine. See, so yeah, now we're back in my truck, and there is a little bit more space for the microphone of the, of the camera. There seems to be a little bit more windshield as well it's not as aerodynamic so it's not as low and i don't know it's definitely a little bit different in this generation of the truck but i do love those a lot they've made a lot of upgrades to the truck and i do enjoy all of them. also think about man i'm gonna keep my eye out let me know what you guys thoughts are and that is definitely the biggest thing on the on the new duramax is that i hate those huge tanks that placement where they put them yeah man i love these trucks and all it's a lot to think about so hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did make sure to give it a thumbs up if you love trucks as much as i do hit that subscribe button have a nice day hey thanks for joining me we are central pa